So we are here. Uh, fluctuation. Just a few more level, uh, a few more stages, and then we're ready for the next world. Okay, sorry, I uh, lagged up again. I've been dealing with some lag today, and that's uh, it's a little unusual because uh, ever since February, things have been running really smoothly, but not so much today. This one, I'm not even gonna bother with like the gimmick of the level. Just get me to the goal. <laughs> Alright, that's fluctuation. What a challenge. Alright. Now let's finish up World 5. A few more levels. Uh, so let's start with the hardest one. Melting Pot. Here we go. Here we go. Melting Pot. What makes this a melting pot? Oh, snap. Wait, is there a way to slow this thing down? No, there's not. So basically, I'm going to get thrown into this thing, and I have to hit the goal. Oh. Well, I thought I would be able to land in there. Do I only get, like, one chance to land in there? Do I have to do it, like, right off the bat? Basically, I get knocked around by other big balls. What is, like, the... There's, like, always a, a common theme of big balls in various video games. Like, I'm playing Crash. There's freaking boulders. And then this one's just a bunch of balls knocking me around. Oh, I didn't realize how little time I had. Three, two, one, zero. Wow. I did not realize how, how little time I had. That wasn't too difficult, but... You just gotta understand that you're gonna get knocked around by a bunch of big balls in this level. Whether you like it or not, it's gonna happen. How are you going to prepare for the big balls? Hashtag big balls. Okay. Up. Oh, let's go in here. Up. Oh. I cannot stop smashing me with the big balls. <laughs> So that's the that's what this one's not even hard. It's just annoying. It's like you're so close, but you're not gonna get to the big balls. I mean, you're not gonna get through the big balls. You're not gonna get to the goal. The balls won't let you. You just have to get lucky like that. Melting pot. I don't understand what's so melting about <laughs> how this is a melting pot. Just call it big balls. All right, we are doing. Uh, let's do. We have bead screen and wormhole. Let's do beads, bead screen. This is a level three? Oh, this just has switches. <laughs> no big deal. Just wait for it to stop. Well, this is easy. Just wait for it to stop and then hit pause. Because like, they have a series of options. And clearly one of them is the pause button. Right there. There you go. Just pause it. I'll even collect some bananas in the process. Alright, cool. See, it feels so much better to do the harder ones first, and then you jump right into the easier ones. You feel a lot less stressed out. So, wormhole. Although, it's not a good idea, because when you just jump right back into recording, after not recording this game for like a month or two months, you know, then, you know, why would you start off on the hardest one? Don't you want to ease back into it? I don't know. I'm crazy sometimes. But that's my logic on it. It's just like if you get the harder ones out of the way, you don't have to... You, know, you can kind of relax the rest of the way. I think I think that's all you're doing here is just uh, getting from one end to the other. Go to the portal. Okay, so this level is actually introducing the portal to you. But regardless, not too difficult. Okay, this one, just stay straight. Pick up speed if you feel confident in the angle, which I do. So even though I was kind of like, you know, about to fall off, I, I knew I was still going to be able to stay steady, so that's good. Alright, and uh, last one is Amusement Park. I'm sorry, that's the name of the world. <laughs> the last one is Zigzag Slope. Here we go. This is a level 2 difficulty, so it should be super easy. Five seven zigzag slope. It's funny how this is the seventh level, but it's a level two difficulty. Let's see how 
see how difficult this one actually is. I can tell you though, I feel like I'm being, yeah, because with the slopes, it, it's kind of maneuvering me manually towards certain directions, so, like, this one's maneuvering me down, but I guess it's not too bad. Uh, you just gotta go against the resistance. Alright, and still doing good. I don't know how this one's gonna slow, it's gonna slow me down, so I just gotta go against the resistance. There you go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I wouldn't say it's a two. Maybe, maybe a three or four. Well, maybe a three. But two? That's a little easy. I know we're never going to see a one again. <laughs> Cutscene! This haunted house looks a little strange. I guess this is his hideout. Look at this board. It says, please do not enter without my permission. Thank you, Dr. Bad Boo. Oh, thank you, Dr. Bad Boo. Funny, he's so polite here. Okay, so now let's go in. I, I will have to give up chasing you. Blah, blah, blah. Look at these brilliant robot thieves being produced in my factory. These robots will get me bananas from all over the world. When he was walking, he kind of looked like almost robotic. And without bananas, I, I will starve. Besides these robots, thieves look look exactly like I, I so everyone will think that it's I, I who's stealing all the bananas. Everyone's going to hate I, I as much as they hate me. I don't remember any of this. Scans and hate intruders as I, I and friends. I just can't seem to shake him or his friends. But they can't stop me. They're walking into a trap. First I'll capture them. Then I'll punish them. I wanted him to laugh again. Oh, he did laugh. You foolish monkey. Did you see my sign? I guess you need a lesson in manners. Well, here's lesson number one. It's impolite to visit unannounced. Unless it's a it's to pay a small visit. So I think you should try this patented mini monkey laser beam on for size. No, we're shaking! I <laughs> see you pick on someone your own size. Ah, my sweet Mimi. Shall we have a date in Adventure Forest? Yeah, I didn't remember that cutscene at all. My sweet Mimi, if you want to be normal again, you have to be my wife. Why not think about it over a lovely lunch? What do you say? Marry you? Stop asking! I would rather stay small than marry you! Me! <laughs> that face. You're so stubborn. If you won't listen to me, maybe you'll listen to the screams of your friends dying. I mean, the screams of your friends. Hmm, I think I have a recipe for monkeys in boiling water. I wonder how they'll taste. Wow, kind of cannibalism. How dare you, you stuck up meanie. Yeah, that'll that'll show them. Oh, snap. Oh, oh no, my sweet... Wow, this is a long cutscene. Mimi has gone up in my nostril. It's gross. Super gross. And she's all covered in his mocos. Or his boogers. <laughs> For those who aren't familiar with the term. <laughs> 